Hi guys, welcome back to Magic 3D Printing and something very exciting, our first episode of 3D Modelers Around the World. Now for those of you who missed the first introductory episode, uh, basically what I'm going to be showing you are uh, multiple pieces from each sculptor uh, from different countries. I'll give you a background, uh, give you a little bit of information about who they are and what they do. Uh, in addition to that, I'll be uh, printing these pieces. Uh, most of the pieces will be just raw pieces taken off the printer, uh, so any supports removed, and then uh, in most cases there'll be no painting or anything unless I, unless I otherwise mention that. So uh, the first episode is going to be um, featuring Vensi Karov. Uh, Vensi is a college student from Bulgaria. Uh, he studies movie and TV editing, which he actually feels complements his work in 3D sculpting. He's a self-taught modeler that started modeling in 2010 using a software package called Maya. Um, he learned a lot from the resources on the internet and through a lot of years of trial and error. Uh, after getting some new equipment, he started studying even more and decided that 3D sculpting is what he really wanted to do. Um, in 2018, he got his first commission and after that started uh, getting more demand for his uh, sculpting and pieces. Um, he's available for commission work and uh, definitely made a point to let me know that he strives to make sure that every customer is really satisfied with the work that he does. Uh, currently he's working on some uh, commissions. Uh, he studies at the university and is working on his portfolio. And at the uh, bottom of this uh, video I'll be leaving some links to both his uh, Etsy shop as well as his uh, Instagram location where you can see more of his work. So the first piece that we're going to look at today is this beauty which is a Star Wars Mandalorian helmet. Uh, this was all printed at uh, a 0.12 layer height. Uh, it was printed in Uncle Jesse's gunmetal gray filament from uh, ZYL Tech. Uh, Amazing detail in this. This uh, this baby is beautiful. All of the, the detailing in the in the, the front of the mask. Um, this wasn't actually printed to uh, to fit me, but it does fit one of my grandkids, which is pretty cool. Um, the helmet is a single piece, and then in addition to that, the uh, rod that comes down on the uh, on the right hand side here, and the bird skull was printed separately. So again, great work. Um, if you do look at his work online, you'll see the same piece where somebody uh, printed it like it's uh, made of bone and uh, just just looks great. Uh, you get a chance to see uh, more of the detailing because the uh, artist, uh, or the person who painted it, uh, did some nice highlights and stuff. So this is the first piece by Vensi Karov from Bulgaria. And uh, next what we're going to look at is a... Uh, Another really, uh, really nice piece, and this is a Venom mask that Vensi did. Uh, this piece was also printed at, at a 1.2 layer height. Uh, this piece was primed because when I printed it, I ran out of the same color filament, and it looked a little odd. So this does have a light uh, coat of primer on it. Uh, an interesting thing about this piece is this was actually printed in three separate pieces. So the top part of the uh, helmet was printed down to about where you would, uh, I guess where you would say a, a nose would normally be. Uh, the second part was from there down to the first set of teeth, which made it uh, possible for me to actually flip that piece upside down, uh, printing the teeth up, and that gave a, a great print that way. Uh, very clever on his part. And then the third piece, obviously, is the lower jaw, uh, that printed with a little bit of support under the uh, under the chin, but um, all three of these pieces fit very very nicely. And the thing I like about it is is very little filler, if any, will be necessary to to fill in the gaps between the pieces, as you can see. Uh, in addition to that, he also did something rather clever. Uh, he printed eye pieces. Now these pieces, obviously not primed. Um, will fit perfectly into the mask. Uh, in addition to that, so the solid ones are done, so in case you want to use this as strictly a display piece. 
Uh, there's another set of these which actually have uh, holes, a series of fine holes like a mesh that go through the entire eyepiece in case you want to wear it as a mask, uh, and you, that way you'll actually be able to see through the piece. Um, so great work. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, if you do, like, subscribe. Uh, if you're a, a, an artist or a modeler who would like to have his work uh, featured on the uh, channel, uh, please get in contact with me. I'll be more than happy to, um, to take a look at your work. Uh, we already have about 10 different artists who have contacted us and provided pieces, which we spent a lot of time printing. Um, so again, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, and we will see you uh, next time on Magic 3D Printing. Thanks, guys. Oh.